Pro Bowl slot receiver. That's pregame right Look there. Look at that. Did you do that, Mike? Welcome, everyone, to Time to Football, where we put on a better production than the Denver Broncos offense. That was really sad last night. My name is Hassan Khan, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the LA Rams and their chances of making the NFL playoffs. For starters, we have to take a look at the NFC West standings. It's led by the San Francisco 49ers, who are at 5-0, led by that incredible defense, followed by the Seattle Seahawks, at 5-1 with their only loss being against the New Orleans Saints. Still a very good team. The Rams come in at third at 3-3. Three and three. And then you've got the Cardinals at 2-3-1. and one, Only half a game back in the NFC West. We're going to dive much deeper into that topic later in the video. But first, we have to tell you guys about Overlay DFS. This is daily fantasy football where every matchup is in a start or set format. Pretty much you just guess which player that week is going to get more fantasy points. And this week's matchups include... Russell Wilson versus Lamar Jackson, that's going to be a very good game. Matt Ryan versus Jared Goff, that's also going to be a very good game. And then other players like Marlon Mack versus Josh Jacobs, and so many more matchups. If you're perfect in your predictions, you win a grand prize of $25,000. And if you're not perfect, you just got to finish at the top 10% to win nine times your money. And the progressive jackpot is now at $28,000, so you want to take advantage of this. Download the app for iPhone or click on the link in the description of this video, www.overlaydfs.com. Sign up today to play daily fantasy football. Hungriest player of the week, the one that wanted it the most. Vikings wide receiver Stephon Diggs has been the topic of trade conversations throughout the whole entire NFL because he hasn't been very happy in his role with the Minnesota Vikings. But this past Sunday against the Eagles, he was more reliable than Jason Garrett's job security. Yeah, he's never getting fired. Seven receptions, 167 yards, and three touchdowns for the day for Stephon Diggs. And that is why he is the hungriest player of the week. Speaking of the hungriest player of the week, one of our viewers for the show said that uh, the Checkdown, one of the NFL's Instagram accounts, does the hungriest player of the week award, and Stephon Diggs was the winner this week, and Snickers is the one that sponsored them for that award. Hey, check down. I've been doing Hungriest Player of the Week since 2013. Let's talk about the week three Hungriest Player of the Week, the one that wanted it the most. Tennessee Titans quarterback Jake Locker threw for 299 yards, rushed for another 68. Stay in your lane. Now let's get into the topic for this video. The Rams, will they make the NFL playoffs? They started out 3-0. We showed you the standings for the NFC West at the beginning of this episode. Started out 3-0, then they went on a three-game losing streak. They're 3-3. Three three. The Browns, Panthers, and Saints were the three teams that they beat. You could say that the Panthers and Browns, those were close games. The Saints, that was an impressive victory, especially one of the best teams in the NFL. But you could also argue that that was the game that Drew Brees got hurt and Teddy Bridgewater had to come in and the offense just really didn't have a chance to adjust or click. But regardless, they beat one of the best teams in the NFL in their 3-3. Three and three. We mentioned all of this because after a three game losing streak, this week it seemed like the Rams were in a little bit of a panic mode or at least making big moves to avoid this season being wasted. And we're talking about three particular trades that happened. That's with Marcus Peters shipping him to Baltimore, which was kind of surprising given that Peters had two interceptions in the last two games. They got a young linebacker in Kenny Young, and it just didn't make a lot of sense until a few hours later, they traded for Jalen Ramsey. Now, Ramsey is a very good football player, has had some character issues in the past. I mean, he just likes to talk a lot. Nonetheless, Ramsey, the Rams felt like he was a better player than Marcus Peters. And then trade number three, they acquired Austin Corbett from the Cleveland Browns, which doesn't make a lot of sense for the Browns because they need some offensive line help, so they traded away their second round pick from 2018 draft. But with all of these trades, was this a sign of desperation for the Rams? Because if you look at the NFC West, San Francisco and Seattle, that's stacked. You're gonna have to compete with them. Say you don't win the division. Say you wanna compete with the rest of the NFC for a wild card spot. Well, then you got the, the Panthers and the Saints that are competing for a wild card spot. You've got the NFC North with the Bears, the Packers, and the Lions. And then in the East, you've got the Eagles and the Cowboys, and 
dare I say, maybe even the New York Giants competing for a wild card spot. With the Rams sitting at three and three, statistically, they have a 26.3% chance of making the playoffs. But I want you guys to jump in on the discussion in the comments below. Do you believe that the Rams are gonna make the postseason? And even if they do, are they Super Bowl contenders? But that's all we have on this episode of Time to Football. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment down below. Again, join the discussion about the LA Rams. And subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date when we come out with another episode every single week. Also, hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The username for all three is at Time to Football. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and enjoy week seven.